and the ghosts of past takes have come back to haunt the mountain from top to bottom. Look at all the snow. Can the mountain's namesake stay at the top after a terrible three interception day? Has Joe Burrow's cursed calf allowed the Bengals to rise from the dead? And why did Mac Jones throw yet another interception? There's no Halloween references, literally. You know Jalen Ramsey's back. It's obvious he's gonna jump the route. Well, you're about to find out in the iciest segment in all of sports. It's Mahomes now. Thank you so much for the great introduction, Kevin Wilds. Even though you added a Mahomes interception, he Sorry. did not have. He had Sorry. two interceptions, only one that really turned. <laughs> Three turnovers, I apologize. Final play of the game. The other one was a fumble, but it doesn't Hold matter. There. Guys, we have a crisis at base camp. <laughs> They're out. Oh, wow. We're out of lodging. Hot cocoa costs more than big face coffee. <laughs> Half the league has fallen off the well, mountain. Well, that seems like a mountain it, issue. Well, it, half or, the league off the mountain. I'm just telling you right now. Half it's, the it's, league. It's half the league. It's a quarterback production issue. It's an injury issue. Look at this. You find one person on there, they're like, oh, no, that person should be on the mountain. No, they shouldn't. Now, Injured to the mountain itself, bottom row, you can survive these guys if all else is okay, but right now, None are difference makers. By the way, shout out Sam Howell and Will Levis yeah. for getting back. All, Levis, first time, first game, he was excellent, actually. Mm -hmm. Sam was. Howell was quite good against Philadelphia. Stafford is a tough one to put on this level, but he's bet injured now. He hurt himself, and after he was hurt, they ran a two-point conversion pass to him that he dove for and hurt himself more. So <laughs> those guys are at least those still on the mountain. Row six. Totally big. There's just nobody. There's just nobody. There's nobody. There's nobody on row six, which is why everyone's at base camp. Now, to actually quarterbacks you can win with, row five guys. These are good quarterbacks, I suppose. I couldn't believe Derek Carr was on here either, but he was good this past week. He didn't yell at as many people. He played well in an important win. Caleb slips. It really not because he played so poorly, but because he needs to play brilliantly. C.J. Stroud got outplayed by the other, you know, top pick of the draft, so he slips a bit. And I understand folks are been very angry about Caleb's placement on the mountain, but now that you're seeing what we're dealing with in the NFL this year, I think we can all agree that, like, yeah, I do think, actually, that the Denver Broncos would rather trot Caleb out there moving forward sure? the rest of the year. Sure about yeah, that? Threw for 114 yards. Oh, I don't know. Got the W. Right. No. Three touchdowns. Row four. Too. Josh Allen rises up the mountain. Tua slips a bit despite an excellent statistical game. You'll see why in a moment. Dak and Jared Goff stay exactly where they are because while the bottom part of the mountain is greatly in flux, the upper reaches of the mountain, those quarterbacks for the most part, acquitted themselves quite well this week. Row three, guys you absolutely can get to the Super Bowl with. Jalen Hurts has been there. Lamar has won an MVP. Trevor has improved exponentially each year. Lamar, however, drops a bit because he had 175 total yards passing and rushing. And Trevor had a brutal red zone turnover. Once again, it was raining, but at some point, Trevor's going to have to deal with the rain, so he slips a bit. Now to row two and the big shockers. Patrick Mahomes wow. what? slips down the mountain Three turnovers, wow. you lose to the Denver Broncos for the first time since Patrick was in high school, and Joe Bleeping Burrow with a leap from row five to row wow. two. The best two quarterbacks in the league, Joe Burrow finally healthy off the bye, looked like it. He takes his rightful place as a row two guy. And then right now at the top of the mountain, it's open season. Who's gonna grab it? Okay. Nobody wow. knows. But right wow. now it's Baker. Fair, Patrick man. Mahomes, played so poorly and the team played so poorly he can't keep his spot joe can't get to the very top based off one game lamar didn't play great the prince didn't play great they can't move up so it's hard to find who should replace mahomes at the top of the mountain so there is greg jennings this week's edition of mahomes mountain yeah um, i got a few problems with the mountain number one but you talk about the prince can't move up because he didn't play great but that he just stays the same how is this when well, the he, prince moved down uh, no I, I mean I, I don't care about the prince what I <laughs> right now I'm talking about Dak but since you brought up the prince like Dak Prescott has played superb in his last two outings it's <clears throat> like he's the king and the prince is just the prince and wow. so last wow. time I checked 
a king ranked higher than a prince. That's still accurate. And Dak Prescott <laughs> has performed a lot better than your guy, okay. the prince that was promised. If you look at week eight, like this is who, who Dak Prescott needs to be for this team yeah. that you said the tier above him has quarterbacks that can absolutely get their team to the Super Bowl. Well, Dak Prescott has something to say about it. Look at week eight versus the first six weeks. Like, he wasn't great. And then what we saw this last game, he was absolutely superb. If he can sustain that, in my opinion, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League if that happens. I remember back early in the year, I said Dak Prescott has shown us that he can be elite. Yeah. Roussar, you remember Bruce, that. Bruce that was an elite to, game. He has to start a dynasty. That was an elite, elite game. game. And if we look at and, and if we look okay. at the Last comparison week, really quick, yeah. with Dak Prescott and your guy, Dak the Prince has uh, promised. Dak and had I like four him. touchdowns and Prince had one. They both had around 300 yards. I, I have a problem with him, the Prince being higher than Dak Prescott. Okay, you, so look at this. So listen, this That's week. Solid. That's fair. Hold on. This that week, is fair. Oh, wait a moment. Very good. This week. It's Dak, about week to week. It, it is, a, it is again, guys, it is a rich tapestry of factors. <laughs> and if it were simply who played the best this one week, then it would, what would be the point of the mountain? Just go to USA Today. Exactly I, I, right. They have it on an insert. Exactly on correct. Well, Thank I you. totally agree with you. It's a tapestry, which yeah. is why I've been smiling for the last three minutes. Why? <laughs> because I knew this day would come. I have been patient through the banners through the tattoos, sitting there thinking to myself, this isn't fair. This isn't right. And now today I get to reclaim my spot as the number one Patrick Mahomes oh, guy oh. on this show. Why? Dusty, the video. The video. I'm about to make a statement that will lead some of you to say I'm being a prisoner of the moment. Some of you will say I'm being premature. But several years from now, many of you will say, he nailed it. Patrick Mahomes is Jordan S. Yes, as in Michael Jordan. That was in 2019, long before anyone else said Patrick Mahomes would someday be the GOAT. That is not Sports, true. Sports Illustrated knows. Yeah. Here they are. Uh, the uh, magazine of record. Boxes, Chris Broussard, Patrick Mahomes, best QB ever. But and where does now, it say you're the finally, first? Hold on, wait a second. Now, you might have finally, just really screwed yourself here, Brew. Hold on. 2019. You, yes, you have been. No, first of all, that's October 25th of 2022. That, that is. Okay. So when I'm, I'm talking oh, to but Jordan you have Nestle, always claimed that Sports Illustrated said you were the first. Yeah. I've where touched does it the say nerve. you're the first? I've touched the nerve. Because here's my thing. I was on this show I, saying it. I get that Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow right, you was there. there. I've touched yeah, the nerve. I've touched the nerve. nerve, America. <laughs> I'm bringing facts. Joe Burrow's great sun, Sunday. Patrick Mahomes wasn't. But it's a tapestry. It's not week to week. It's yes. not the standings. It's not the stats. Patrick Mahomes is by far clearly the best quarterback still in the NFL. And, Nick, yes. I think you're punishing the wrong person by Mahomes not having his typical Mahomes season. I think it should be, you should be looking at the GM, Brett Veach. You should be looking at those receivers who keep having the drops. Patrick Mahomes does not have nearly the arsenal that other guys have. Josh Allen has Stephon Diggs. Your boy Burrow has Jamar Chase and a plethora of very good wide receivers. Yeah. Tua, my goodness. I mean, he's you know what he's what going he, to the games with. He's trying to and Pat, no, Patrick Mahomes, despite not having anybody outside of Travis Kelsey to throw to, yeah. still has his team at 6-2. Yeah. and two. Yeah. Still is third in the league What's in yards happening? per game. I'm telling you, yeah. Mahomes should still be okay. at the top of the mountain. He is at the top okay. of the mountain. No, he <laughs> should be number one by himself. Hold on. Hold on. It, it is a, by himself. It is a slippery mountain. Yeah, slippery. And even if everyone acknowledges slippery. you're the best, you might have a week. We're all but it's not week to week, right? Like, well, no, there, again, it is a or great Or would be up there. It is a it's rich a tapestry, tapestry of a I lot just of found factors. that out. The, but it, it, I would like, I am so it's glad all right. I'm actually that happy we about pulled this. the archives. Wilds, why do you seem confused? I thought this was going to be about the flu game, to be honest with you, once I saw that. <laughs> Uh, I the whole thing was going to be. He didn't be, have uh, the flu game that Mike had. Well, he well I know, and that's what I'm saying. It says Mahomes still Jordan. He actually had the flu. Had the flu. Yeah. 
Jordan Michael Ness, Jordan had the flu. No, he was hung over from drinking tequila How? and eating no. pizza and Either was hung over or had poison pizza and I'll meet in the middle of the flu. <laughs> <laughs> any event, I'm going to move Josh Dobbs, who is currently not on the mountain, mm -hmm. just because he went 1-7 in seven and has averaged, I don't know, under 200 yards per game. Mm -hmm. But he did have that win against the Cowboys. And all of a sudden, well, guess who's the quarterback of my frisky Vikings team, oh, which is trying to contend and rebuild at the same exact time. But he time. can't be climbing up the He's mountain. climbing up the mountain. No, Do you know what? Just put him somewhere on the bottom. Well, that's, a, that's an aggressive uh, altitude wow. for him. I wouldn't have him that high, but he's still climbing. Going to look at who uh, Josh Dobbs now has to throw to. Greg, I've been high on, obviously, Justin Jefferson. But now that Addison, tell me if you buy this theory. The idea that Addison, like, in his mind is a number one guy, but then you line up next to Justin Jefferson, like, man, he's obviously a number one guy. Justin Jefferson goes down. You get to have a big boost of self-confidence. So when Justin Jefferson comes back for this Saints game, hello, all of a sudden, Josh Dobbs has two number one guys to throw to. Buying that? I do buy that. Perfect. Because you get a lot of targets when you're the number one guy, and you're going to get those opportunities to build your confidence. I buy that. Okay. He's a big Dobbs guy. I but, am. Which is big why Dobbs guy. So I'm, Vikings murder. chances are still very much alive. I think Josh Dobbs is capable. I, I Can, love that pickup for the for the. I, so I would like him to move up, not that high, at least not be on it. At least be on it. But somewhere on the mountain. Okay, well let's see him play for him first. <laughs> hey, based on what he did with the Cardinals, yeah, he can't beat be the on Cowboys. The <laughs> that was that was that was back when Brew was making videos in his bedroom. Beat the Cowboys. That was training. during the pandemic. That, by the way. That was, he I mean, threw for 265 yards uh, against the wait, Niners. The pandemic. First of all, Brew, the pandemic was yeah, not 2019. It was before the exactly. He's, it he's was pre-pandemic. He's got his 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 his, his <laughs> glass. I have touched the nerve. I have touched the nerve. That's obvious. Yes. I'm rooting for Josh Dobbs. I, Josh Dobbs, I was at the rookie intro night or whatever, and he and his dad walked up to me, and he handed me a business card that said, Josh Dobbs, NFL quarterback. And ever from that, I was like, that guy's going places. Now, what he did end up going places, a bunch of teams cut him. But now he's getting a chance. I like Josh Dobbs. I think your Vikings can still make the playoffs. 100% they can make I the playoffs. I think they can still make the playoffs even without Kirk. But I, he's got to earn Are a spot. Are they a contender if they make the playoffs? No, yes. bro. Yes, they, they are. They're not a contender. Throw yes. the ball down yeah. to Justin I know Greg's a yes. Greg's a big participation trophy guy. Just run the ball a little bit. Uh, Drew up next. Just, when did Team Drew be the Juice so so boxes, all that. That's great. He's just have traded. <laughs> you had been saying. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.